In the lush landscapes of eastern India, a heart-wrenching event unfolded in June 2022, shaking the beliefs and narratives about the human-animal conflict. Maya Murmu, a 70-year-old woman from Mayurbanj district, met her tragic end in an extraordinary encounter with a wild elephant, a story that spirals into realms of mystery and vengeance. But before we delve further, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. In the serene yet unpredictable wilderness of Mayurbanj district, nestled in the eastern part of India, June 2022 marked a day that would etch itself in the memories of the local community. Maya Murmu, a 70-year-old resident, ventured out on a routine task, oblivious to the tragic twist her day would take. Murmu's journey led her to a water source, a commonplace activity in the rural tapestry of India. However, on this fateful day, the mundane turned ominous. The Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary, a sprawling haven for wildlife nearby, was home to a variety of animals, including wild elephants. These majestic creatures, while usually keeping to themselves, occasionally wander into human habitats, leading to unintended and often tragic human-animal encounters. As Murmu went about her task, a wild elephant speculated to have strayed from the confines of the sanctuary emerged. The details of what transpired next remained clouded in uncertainty, but the outcome was devastating. In a sudden display of aggression, the elephant attacked Murmu, trampling her in a brutal show of strength and wild instinct. The incident sent shockwaves through the local community, stirring a mix of fear, sorrow, and bewilderment. Elephants, revered in Indian culture for their intelligence and emotional depth, are not typically known for unprovoked aggression. This unusual behavior raised questions and concerns among the locals and wildlife experts alike. The attack on Mormu was not just a tragic incident, but a stark reminder of the delicate and often volatile boundary between human settlements and wildlife habitats. In regions like Mayurbanj, where the lush forests and human communities coexist in close proximity, the lines are blurred and the balance is fragile. As Maya Murmu succumbed to her injuries, the sorrow engulfed her family and neighbors. But little did they know, the story was far from over. The elephant, as if bound by a mysterious force, was yet to add a chilling epilogue to this already heartbreaking tale. In the aftermath of the tragic encounter, Maya Mormu's family and friends gathered to bid farewell to her in a traditional funeral ceremony. The air was heavy with grief and disbelief as the community struggled to come to terms with the abrupt loss. However, what was meant to be a solemn closure turned into an eerie and unsettling spectacle. As the funeral rites commenced, with Mormu's body placed upon the pyre, the mourners were absorbed in their rituals and sorrow. The tranquility of this somber occasion was abruptly shattered by an unforeseen and almost unbelievable interruption. The same wild elephant that had fatally attacked Mormu made an unexpected and unprecedented return. Emerging from the periphery, it approached the funeral site with a determined, almost purposeful stride. The attendees, caught off guard and paralyzed by fear, could only watch in horror as the elephant charged towards the pyre. In an act that seemed to defy the natural behavior of these typically reserved creatures, the elephant trampled the pyre, disrupting the funeral process. The sight of the massive animal, enraged and seemingly vengeful, created a scene that was both surreal and terrifying. In a final act of disruption, the elephant grabbed Murmu's body, tossing it aside before eventually storming off into the wilderness. The mourners, now in a state of shock and confusion, were left to grapple with the sheer improbability of what they had just witnessed. 
This second attack by the elephant, specifically targeting the deceased at her own funeral, was not only unprecedented but also seemed to carry a deeper, more ominous significance. The incident spurred a flurry of questions and theories. Was this an act of revenge by the elephant? Did it possess a memory and understanding so profound that it could identify and target the deceased even after her death? These questions lingered heavily in the air as the community and experts alike struggled to make sense of this extraordinary and unsettling behavior. The funeral interruption by the elephant was more than just a tragic disturbance. It was a phenomenon that blurred the lines between the understood boundaries of wildlife behavior and the mystique of animal intelligence and emotion. As the news of this bizarre and tragic event spread, it captivated and bewildered people far beyond the confines of the small community, turning Maya Murmu's tragic tale into a subject of intrigue and speculation worldwide. The unsettling incidents surrounding Maya Murmu's tragic death and the subsequent funeral disruption by the same elephant sparked a cascade of theories and speculations. The elephant's behavior, particularly its return to the funeral, was so extraordinary that it begged for an explanation beyond ordinary wildlife behavior. One prevailing theory suggested a deep-rooted motive for revenge. Some speculated that Murmu might have had an indirect or direct involvement in harming the elephant or its kin, perhaps through poaching activities. This theory hinged on the idea that the elephant's actions were driven by a sense of vengeance, a concept that, while common in human narratives, is rarely associated with animal behavior. However, this theory remained mired in speculation, with no concrete evidence to support the notion of Murmu's involvement in any activity that could have provoked such a targeted response from the elephant. Another line of thought considered the possibility of the elephant having recognized Murmu from a previous encounter, perhaps one where she might have inadvertently provoked or threatened it. Elephants are known for their impressive memory and intelligence, which could suggest a capability to remember and react to specific individuals. However, this theory, too, was speculative and lacked substantiating evidence. Some wildlife experts weighed in, suggesting that the elephant's behavior could be a result of stress or trauma, possibly from human activities like habitat encroachment or conflicts with local communities. In such cases, elephants have been known to display atypical and aggressive behavior. This perspective broadened the conversation to include the ongoing challenges of human-elephant coexistence in regions like Mayurbanj. A more metaphysical interpretation also surfaced, rooted in local beliefs and the cultural symbolism of elephants in India. In this view, the elephant's actions were seen as a manifestation of divine or natural justice, a concept deeply ingrained in many local traditions. While this interpretation held cultural significance, it remained in the realm of folklore and spiritual belief, rather than scientific explanation. As the story of Maya Murmu and the elephant circulated, it became a topic of heated discussion and debate, both locally and internationally. The lack of definitive answers only fueled further curiosity and speculation, this incident not only underscored the complexity of human wild lefe interactions, but also highlighted the mysteries of animal behavior, leaving a lasting imprint on the collective psyche of those who heard this extraordinary tale. Maya Murmu's tragic story, a blend of sorrow and mystery, highlights the complex and often tumultuous relationship between humans and wildlife. It reminds us of the delicate balance we must maintain in our coexistence with nature's giants. As we delve into the depths of this incident, we uncover layers of human emotion, animal behavior, and the unspoken tensions that exist at the intersection of humanity and the wild. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.